Young and Eglinton traffic is trash, Yo, bro. What are they building? Eglinton Crosstown is going to take like another six years. Is Eglinton Crosstown like a secret tunnel to England? Yo, I don't know, bro. Like, what is happening here? Yo, what's up with What the- is happening here? I don't get hey, why. <laughs> what is happening here's, here's, here's what's happening here's what's happening the construction workers in this city <coughs> construction workers in this city only work from 9 to 10 30 they take a half an hour break 11 o'clock they do another hour of work at 12 o'clock they go for lunch they come back at one they do work till two o'clock they do another half an hour break and then they get the fuck out of there at three o'clock that's what happens you get a you, you're paying for a full day's work but you're getting a, you're getting a <laughs> grand total of two and a half hours of fucking solid work time so it's like your entire workforce was pakistani dudes that's it it's gone <laughs> that's it and that's why shit takes 20 years to build one stop okay here's what i think first of all i know there's a lot of warrants about like first of all working out in the cold in the winter sucks construction workers were pretty hard no, it's a life but, you chose, man. but but here's what i'm gonna say here's what i don't understand okay why are there always five guys watching one guy dig a hole? That's what I'm saying. Why is that happening? First of and all, and they're just pulling up his pants, fucking just out here, <laughs> just having a fucking cigarette, just like Timmy's and I double think double. Getting approvals for all this stuff is like wild in the city of Toronto. I know work takes time, but like I remember when they were talking about Union Station, how they had like four consultants, Yo, and, then, and then they needed to hire a consultant. To manage the consultants, like bro, it sounds it's a like big a big racket, bro. <laughs> All of it's just like... one big racket. Union, Union Station's been under, under construction since I was a child. I can never remember a time where there wasn't some sort of major construction in the same areas on all the platforms where the GO train comes in. All that shit has been in construction and ain't a damn thing changed. Ain't a damn thing changed up there. They have like maybe the down, what the downstairs, uh, whatever the the concourse area that's changed. But like up upstairs, uh top platform areas <clears throat> all that shit's still old as fucking garbage and i'm always having to wait to get into uh, i'm always waiting on the train uh we're waiting for another uh, no, plat- uh plat- platform dating, to open up that's what you get for dating girls in vaughn bro that's your fault dude. Yeah, it's just crazy Mans man. need to stick on the walkable I'm area saying. yo city place king west wellington back to queen west bro if you're not in that range bro you're outie <laughs> <laughs> but okay you know here's my thing here's the one thing that bothers me the most about the construction you know when they like they're working on a lane and then they're just like eh we don't feel like picking up these pylons so we're just gonna block this lane for the whole night it's like bruh all you had to do is move these four pylons you would have saved like what like i was driving it was 7 p.m when i was Guy, coming here on the on the way here it was like one lane and it was just like all the way up young one lane i was like fuck this i went side roads i couldn't deal with it it was so irritating it's constant okay, construction do you think all right here's what i think do you think things are actually that bad or do you think that we just enjoy complaining and this is the most relevant thing we can complain about on a I think it's both. Basis? I think it's both. I think things are actually that bad, but we'll complain about anything. Things will be great and we'll fucking complain about it. It's just the Toronto way of doing things. Yeah. Cuz like TTC gets a lot of flack. I've seen some great transit TTC's systems. TTC's fucking trash. No, I don't know if it's trash. I think it's like it's like it's like a girl you date on a Tuesday. You know? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'll just say it's not perfect, but it's not terrible either. You know so you, like, do you, you, so you, what you're saying is you rate girls by days of the week. Now nah, you taught if me that shit, saying, bro. I, 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 I may or may not have. So, <laughs> so, so basically. We were talking about transit. So you're, you're, you're using my days of the week rating system. <laughs> It's like, yo, you're going out. Yeah, I'm going out with a Monday. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it ain't real. It's, it's not like, a it's, real yeah. I ain't giving her prime time Friday night. This is a long with you. time. I know. This guy's like, he's very judicious about his time. He's like, yo, you taking her girl on Friday? Yo, where are you trying real. to take that? I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm just trying to eat dinner on a Friday. Like, why does everything got to be so calculated, you no, psychopath? <laughs> Listen, man. Yo, that's prime time. That's prime time slot, man. This guy, you man. know what I mean? Friday night, Saturday night, you don't give that to just nobody. Yeah, he needs to conserve all his time so he can throw joint baby showers. Yeah. <laughs> man, don't throw that. Don't, don't, yo, don't throw your suburban <laughs> friend's lives onto me. I don't do none of that garbage. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah.